just started flaking everywhere. It was snowing, it was snowing, guys, you know. <laughs> it was, was over my shoulders. <laughs> and she was like, girl, your hair, like there's dandruff in your hair and stuff. And I felt so embarrassed that I just kept on saying, mm -hmm. like, this gel, hey, but this you gel. Know, you don't have to be gossiping. Like hey guys welcome to my channel today we're gonna to be doing a natural hair tag and i'm super excited um i'm with my friend malik yeah, and yeah. ah! <laughs> ever since i met malik i was like dude we really need to shoot a video so we're literally going to be answering a bunch of questions yeah. by chanel inspired if you guys do like this video please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up why did you start your hair journey? My mom had a salon. She was a hairdresser mm. back in the day. Oh, I think when I was like a young age. I was like 12 or so. And then uh, she's always like picking people's hair and combing people's hair and doing people's hair. I was like, wait, like why can only girls do this? Like why can't I also like experiment? She never allowed me though because my mom is typical Nigerian. She's like, you're your boy. <laughs> so you'd have short hair, you know? I was like, forget that. <laughs> I'm going to grow my hair. I literally was tired of the straightening and all the time that it took me to do my hair all of the money like i spent so much money on my hair and one day i just decided that i was going to transition so slowly moving into like my natural hair it was becoming really frustrating trying to manage like yeah. working with natural hair and um transitioning hair because yeah. it's not two hair types yeah just a big job Same. and ever since i've been that job what is your goal length oh my goal length is your level Really? You yeah. want to grow your hair this long? I'm lying. I'm lying. But I actually was, at the time it was your length. I wanted to go all the You're way down. You're lying. I, I promise you, I was like, you know what? If my hair can grow to this level mm. and and I can maintain it, let me try and get even further with it. Mm. Corbin, what was it? Corbin, Corbin Blue? No, not Corbin Blue. Oh, the guy from High School Music. There we go. Yes. He's here. I was like, and that was also a lucky inspiration as well back in the day. I mm. definitely want to go waist length. Okay. Oh, and wow. I want to be waist length at curly, not like straightened or anything. It must be in its curly state and then waist length. What's this girl? Her name is Cipriana Quinn, and she's been natural for like nine years, and she has um, type four hair, oh, wow. and okay. her hair is past waist length. But I'm sure I can get to waist length. Yeah. I hope I. Can. I mean, like you on where you at? You're. I don't know. You. I'm at bra strapping. Hey man, so you're almost there. How do you get your hair so big? There we go. The infamous question. I don't have a proper answer for this. I can't tell you, oh, you need to go buy this product, that product. The, the key, the key was just picking up a comb and combing your hair every day, morning and night. My six. hair's naturally thick. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I good. literally, it's also natural. It's yeah, like I literally just wash my hair and yeah. wait for it to dry. Yeah. But what I will normally do is, um, if I have a lot of product in my hair, it tends to weigh my hair down and then I'll start shaking it and that increases volume. Oh wait, what I will do is normally, um, I'll wash my hair in the morning, right? Yeah. On, on the way to work, I'll just open both my windows and I'll be driving fast. Oh wow, okay. Look. That's my volume. Up. Okay, I'm going to use that now. That's, <laughs> let's write that down. What is your hair type? What is my hair type? Dope hair. Oh, that's my hair. My hair type is dope. I no. I just said afro textured hair, you know. <laughs> On the one hand, you want to be able to determine what your hair type is because it's easier to choose products. But okay, on the other hand, sense. everyone has one or two hair types. So you don't want to like cl be so strict about yeah. classifying yourself as a hair type. Because yeah. I have like type 3 and type 4 hair. Mm. And I just said what my hair type is. <laughs> if you could only use one product, what would it be? <laughs> Y'all are gonna laugh for this one. Have one. <laughs> uh, head and shoulders, guys. Head and shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> the face! Okay. Head and shoulders. Because my aunt introduced me to it. She's like, it's it's perfect for your type of hair and everything. And um, I was like, you know what? I'm still trying to venture through going through different products. I haven't gone through a lot. And I could smell like, you know, don't you love it when you can smell your hair? Of course! Yeah, it's like, okay. Mm. I would definitely go for Auntie Jackie's Curl La La. Yeah. Um, like it's my best, my favorite product is obviously like my DIY flaxseed gel. 
but I know it's like a cheat for me to be using um, a DIY product. Mm -hmm. So definitely uh, Auntie Jackie's Cola La because it just leaves my hair feeling super defined and my twist just looks so shiny and they're elongated like they they literally don't shrink as much and you can see that my hair looks hydrated so okay. definitely that. So what's the worst product you've ever used? I hate using products that you have to apply when your hair is dry because I style my hair when it's wet it's, it's, it's easier you know it's, it's easy to comb through and everything. So um, it was this black bottle, um, I'll give you the first, the first name was Afro and Afro something. It was, a, it was a curling thing actually, it was something I had to do with curls, I was like I want to make my hair more curly, like up to your level, like even deeper curly and everything. And then um, I used it and I was like okay, it says okay, use when hot hair is completely towel dry. I'm like, okay, <sighs> waiting for the curls to come, yeah I'll shit. like okay, <laughs> waiting. Thing is like in a mohawk, I'm like, wait, wait, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. <laughs> didn't happen. I was like, you know what? And then like when it dried up, I don't know. I don't think he said you had to wash it afterwards. But uh, when it dried up, it really it felt like it's supposed to feel better. I mean, it's Afro. It's for my type of hair, but it just it felt weird. This brand, right? It's like fairly new in South Africa. Tried the gel on a, on a shoot day. Okay. And I literally, like I was so impressed with how defined my curls were and they were like really soft but yeah. once it dried, it was so flaky, like it was so, so flaky <laughs> and normally, <laughs> <laughs> normally at a shoot, yeah. um, like people won't style my hair because my hair is supposed to be in its natural state, Same. but this day, the hairstylist wanted to braid my hair and the minute she like put the comb through my hair it just started flaking everywhere it was snowing, it was snowing guys you know <laughs> it's, it was over coming. my shoulders <laughs> and she was like girl oh, your hair like there's dandruff in your hair and stuff and i felt so embarrassed that so i imagine. just kept on saying like this gel hey this you gel know, you don't have to be gossiping like, yeah you don't have to take your hair exactly <laughs> like especially because people were walking into the room, yeah. hey? Because I had a dark top on, so you could uh, see. Wow. You could literally see the flakes. I'll never forget it, and I'll never ever use that product again. <laughs> What's your go-to hairstyle? When I'm completely lazy to comb my hair in the morning, and then I just take my bandana, just around, tight, and I push it up. So like, um, that's when I expose my forehead. <laughs> that's when I expose my forehead. I push it up, and then like. It is like, it's like this curly like ball on top. My go-to hairstyle is definitely the twist out because it's low maintenance. Mm. And I will have my twist for five days. And the only way that I'll maintain it is to sleep with a sleep cap or yep. a silk um, scarf. Is that, is that necessary? Cotton literally strips your hair of moisture, but also it causes like friction. So when you wake up and you haven't used like a silk um, scarf or bonnet, mm. like there's so much friction that your hair is more frizzed. Wow, you actually you're right. Well, when I don't wear a cap, I wake up my hair's in the mohawk. How often do you trim your ends? To be honest with you, to be completely honest with you guys, um, I never used to trim my ends. Um, there's a reason for that. It was not because like I always felt like I needed to. My mom always reminded me like, "Yo, you need to trim, trim your ends because it's healthy for you." I have a phobia for barbers. Um, yeah, I have a. It's a real phobia. I'm gonna name it myself, barber phobia. <laughs> no, but it's like because <laughs> growing up, I always used to like, I, I, my my haircuts were never consistent. You know. Like a barber would cut it nice so the one time, the next time do a completely different job. So even with the barber I'm with now, I'm very, very sus. Because like if I ask them to cut off the tips a little, I, I fear that they're going to cut up a bit too much. <laughs> and there's like... This isn't happy. Mm, exactly. So I actually cut my tips not too long ago, like last week. Um, for the first time, I was feeling I was feeling good. You know, I was like, you know, I comb out my hair. I was like, yo, just like, just, just take off a little bit of the top so I can just... Mm. clean up make it look a bit neat i won't like regularly trim my hair mm. i'll because i will start getting single strand knots okay yeah yeah um, that as well, yeah oh and when i get that i know my hair needs a trim mm. so that's it's so it's not like I, tri I trim my hair every six weeks or whatever yeah. it's just yeah whenever i get single strand knots i know okay it's, it's time, time. <laughs> it's time do you take any supplements for hair health or growth like any 
multivitamins or oh nah okay. that's the first time i've ever heard you taking <laughs> supplements for your- <laughs> what you can take supplements for everything now no i've never ever okay you yeah yeah i do I'm, I'm- so i don't actually take it for my hair i take it for my skin yeah but it normally happens that if you take something for your skin it'll help your hair um, I take a multivitamin for yeah. overall health. Yeah. Um, I use a metagenic multivitamin, um, which is really, really good. Vitamin A especially, which is great for the skin. Yeah. Helps my hair grow. Okay, who's your hair crush? <laughs> you know you are, girl. Stop playing. Stop. You could have just said, I-, I know I'm your hair crush. Oh, um, no. You okay. wanted them. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Out here. Any other hair crushes? Um, I don't want to name drop. <laughs> but, but you but, just but, name but, dropped but, me. But yeah, but because you're here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that last that was fun. Hair crush and other crush. <laughs> <laughs> One of my biggest crushes here. So my hair crush is Cipriana Quinn. Her and her sister, they're twins. Um, I think yeah, I've mentioned it before. <laughs> Natural hair has a mind of its own, or well, yeah. for me, I feel, because on some days it looks proper, other days it's like, why are you not yeah. looking like you yeah. did before? Yeah, it's like the natural hair journey never chose, like what? Yeah, never. Like, we never chose, they chose us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we never chose the natural hair journey, the natural hair journey chose it us. It chose us, like we were <laughs> the chosen ones, you know, hand-picked. <laughs> and that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also leave me a question in the comments below. I know that you guys might have some questions for my leak, so definitely leave that below. Thank you so much. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Keep well. I ain't got no goddamn shirt on. I just say that. (laughs) 